right, today I'm going to show you how to use Trello to monitor your sales leads. I've heard people call this a simple CRM. I think that is a little bit over labeling it. It's not really a CRM, but you know what this would work great for is if you don't currently have a CRM, you don't currently want to get a CRM because maybe that's a little too bulky. You're just communicating through, uh, you know, through your email and phone to your clients, but you need to keep track of them. This would be a great tool for that in order for you to keep on operating but to operate more efficiently and without going to a crm uh, good news is as well trello is free if you haven't watched my trello orientation video click on the link in the description of this video and watch that and then come back to this and watch this second okay so you can see my trello account i've created a sales leads board and within this board i've created a list for new leads contacted proposals sent on hold sold or lost the sale. And they're pretty self-explanatory, so the idea here is we get a couple a couple sales leads. <clears throat> so these three come in over the weekend. I contact Tim, I contact Susan. I can't get a hold of Joe, so I'm gonna leave them in there. When I talk to Susan, I go ahead and I get her to the point at which I'm able to give her a proposal. So I mark her as a proposal sent. You can see that I'm basically just keeping track of all my people. I can go in here and, and write some information here. So uh, let's see, I sent Susan a proposal for $2,000 that included A, B, and C. She had questions. She needs her biz partner to get call with me and I sent the proposal anyhow. Whoa. Okay, basically she has a proposal sent to her. I have notes here on where I'm going to pick this up next time and we can keep on going. Now if Susan gets back to me and says, hey, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm still interested but I can't do this yet. Maybe I need to make, wait a month. I'm going to put her on hold. Otherwise, if she, set, if she calls me up and says, I want to give you money right now, I'm going to mark her as sold. If she says I'm going to pass a marker and loss of sale, it's pretty much as advertised. You want to just put everybody that comes in here in new leads. Object here is move them to the right. Keep notes. Be a good salesperson and keep notes as you go so that you remember things. If you have to call somebody back on a certain day, like say Susan wants me to call her back on uh, Thursday, I'm going to go ahead and click on the due date here and put Thursday and save it. I'm going to say set appointment to call on. Thursday just like that so now it even has a little due date there it says April 16th now on the day before this is that's going to be highlighted in yellow so that you're going to remember to do that the next day on the day of it's going to be, it's going to turn to green and if you miss the proposal or if you miss that call back and don't uncheck the due date then it's going to show up as red meaning that you missed the call and that you need to give them a call. Um, that's basically how you use it. One other thing, just a quick tip, is under the menu over here, there's this email to board settings. It's gonna give you an email address that you can use. And basically, whenever somebody emails this, it's gonna set up a new card or a new lead if you're looking at these cards as leads. So you can say which of these lists you want this to appear in. So I would say put it in new leads, position it at the top, and copy this to your clipboard. Now, what you're gonna do with this email address is you're gonna to go to wherever your sales form is, so on your website where it says contact us or request a quote or whatever it says. You want to put a CC in wherever that form is being emailed so right now it's probably coming to your inbox or something along those lines. Put a CC in it and CC it to that email address. And what that's going to do is when it gets CC'd out, it's going to show up at Trello. Trello is going to receive that and automatically create a new lead or a new card here in the new leads uh, section. So you could literally come in here on Monday morning and say, oh, I got four leads right here. And boom, you just click into it and it's going to say their phone number or their address or whatever whatever data that you're that you're requesting it as part of your form, it's all gonna show up here in the description. You can call them right from here, put them in contacted, you know, sell your pants off. And this is basically how you can keep track of everything. This works great. And you know, like I said, any sales environment where you're not already using a CRM and where you're not planning to move to a CRM. So that's how you can use it in your environment. Be sure to check out my other Trello videos to see other cool ways that Trello can help you become more efficient as well.